So you're saying to me, you, you don't dress like a Jew because you're in your own life? Absolutely. Where do you live? Uh, America. What area? Uh, you're in America? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, you are. You felt that all the No go, I bet you think there's no go areas in London, don't you? In England. <laughs> you do, don't you? I mean, trans <laughs> oh, you felt the Trans America, didn't you? Uh, oh my everyone. god, you are. Bradford is dead. Wait, there, no are, go there are areas where only Muslims can Oh, go. okay, I'll say yeah. that. There are areas in England, yeah? No, where France, white people France, France. white people. No, in England, I'm saying. I don't know about England. No, no. There are no go areas for everyone. Uh, me as a Muslim, I'd struggle to go to a white African council. No one. I get, I get, I get weak. I get hassled. Yeah. 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 I get hacky scum written on my van. You get what? Hacky scum written on my van. Because they associate Muslims with French studies. Yeah? Even though you look nothing like the study. So the point here is this, you, you think that so far as you think it's real, you're in London, trust me, no one's doing it. Has anyone addressed, attacked you, threatened you, held your hand? It's happened, it's definitely happened. I used to go to Newcastle and it's awful London. But, but down here in London, down here in London, the people are not ex minus So anyway, go back to my original job, because I don't want to... They're not that bad. Okay, yes. So basically what I'm saying to you is this, according to history, the Jews are eight hundred years. Now, I'm defending Islam here, not actions of individuals. Yeah? So, for eight hundred years, the Jews were protected for eight hundred years and given uh, the means to flourish. And then given protection after that. When the Christian, now who's doing the slaughter here? You should have people with Christians. Not today, I don't. I did. I, I, in his, no, in history, not today. Today, today, I think this is back in the day, Christians. <laughs> If I was a Christian living in Jerusalem, no, no, I was a Jew living in Jerusalem. But here's the irony, here's the irony. Have you read what the church fathers say about the Jews? Oh, it's terrible. And their, their religion today is based on the church but, but, fathers' but, but, but thank God the Christians don't act upon the Jews. Do you know why they don't? Why? Because they don't have the power. You only have to look at what Christianity was. Christianity had the power, look what they did. Slaughter. Everyone. Yeah? The only come by are today is if the power. If you give Christians a power, military power, my God, they It's far more difficult for oh. Jews in Germany than in That's actually a myth. That's, that's a myth that's starting to become more and more debunked. So, so, can you just make up your claim you made about my faith? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? No, you are lying, and I want to know this. Wait, 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 I agree. I agree. Okay, I'm Christian, and I'm offended. I'm a wise Christian. 
cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Why are you lying? Because, because you're always alright for you to die. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just have a question. Why are you lying about my face? Carry on, carry on. Why are you looking at me? Speak to 250,000 victims of the crusade. Don't tell this now. Why? 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 No, 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 why are you lying? She doesn't stop. Why are you lying? Wait, he doesn't want you. I don't care. He lied about my face. What did he say that was a lie? And Lucy's not. And Lucy's not stoning you. Okay, so just walk away. What are you talking about? Why is that even You're in English. Let's go in the shade. He's a radical Listen, Chris, Kareem, if those jokers come, please, you know what to do, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Just block them off. Oh, they right. won't come again. Where's, 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 where's the main man? Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone. Has he stayed there? No, no, he's not. He's not even there. No, he's here. Go get him. Go get him. He can't hide. I don't want to. He's annoying. No, no, no. But it's he's cool. misrepresenting, Judith. I know he is. I think he came originally to speak to you, but then the other guy came No, in. I know. But the way he came, the other guy came along, that needs to be put back in the box. But the problem is, the people on YouTube are going to think this is what all Jews think. No, they're not. I, I, I don't, I don't want to. No, 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 they're not. Because what we're going to do, we're going to deal with that issue first. And then we can talk. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Uh, I, I'm just trying to... He came in barking. Muslims are converting Jews. Yeah. Well, we both know history says otherwise. Except in Yemen, in Morocco, it sounds like what it is. I have no issue with that. I've got no issue. I'm not here to defend yeah. monarchies on whatever's going on. Yes. Yeah? I'm, I might look into it. I might question that and challenge that. I don't know. I don't know enough about the detail. But what I do know is when he came along and his initial brass, proud Yahudi and this and that and if he was proud, he'd be very good. The point here is very, very simple. He came with a false assumption and false premises. Yeah. And that had to be buried. And now people have learned now that Islam not only didn't persecute Jews in that day, did it? See look, I'm not here to defend the actions of people or individuals or monarchies or whatever. I'm here to defend the teachings of Islam. Now for me, according to the teachings of Islam, I can't kill Jews or force conversions. Why would I want to? You know, and if, if you think Islam teaches that to you, show me where you think it teaches that thing, I don't mind. <laughs> no, the people who did yeah. this thing in the past, Jordan they might have to show justification of something. I don't know where it is. What do you tell You know what I mean? Right, so like, what was your like point? You, went, went you were coming about... Um, <laughs> what was it? Coming not another <laughs> Tesla. Yeah. Making a claim I didn't... And I didn't make this claim, so I don't understand it. No, so in the Quran, Surah 7, verse 157. Right, so you quoted the Quran. Go on. Yes. It says that the messenger, referring to Muhammad, Have you seen my rucksack? Forgive me. Have you seen my rucksack? Oh, you got it. Got it. it says that the messenger, i.e. Muhammad, I suppose, uh, and that's just my assumption, uh, is mentioned in the Torah and in the Gospel. It doesn't say that. I mean, I've seen it. Surah Sur Sur 7, Sur No, did it say he's mentioned by name, first of all? Let's establish that. I don't know if it's said by name. Right. I don't so know what, is the, what, is, what is the point you're making? He's not mentioned in the Torah. I don't really care about the Gospel. So, <laughs> so what you're saying is, Muhammad is not mentioned by name in the Old Testament? Not much at all, though, in the Torah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my but the the Quran makes a claim he is and he's not. Yeah. And how would you know if he is or not? 
what's your mechanism you would use? For example, all right, so in basic one, Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, who do you believe that's referring to? Ah, so Deuteronomy chapter 18, if you look at just before it talks about the prophet. No, no, I didn't ask the question. I'm not asking you to explain your answer, I just want to hear your answer. Ah, so it's referring to prophets in general after Moses that will arise from the people of Israel. So it's not an individual prophet? It's not an individual prophet, right. because you'll see that throughout the Tanakh, um, that whenever it talks about collective whole, it speaks in the singular. Right, so you say so it's not, it's it's not an individual. About, it's talking about prophets in general, which is why it uses at the beginning the word key, when. So when when a prophet comes up, so this is what's going to happen. Right, so and when it uses the word he, then what? He, so once again, you, you find it all over the place. Um, there, there, there's, there's a verse in Samuel, I can't remember exactly where, that, that, that talks about a group of people in the plural, and then when it talks about the group as a whole, it goes back to the singular. You find all over Tanakh, whenever it talks about Kinnitical, right. whole, it talks to the singular. So, an A, we shall raise them a prophet like unto thee from their brethren, he shall not speak of himself, which put a word in his mouth, and he shall speak all that is commanded of him. Yes. You're saying that's referring to who? General prophets that come after Moses. Who? So, for example, Joshua, Samuel, okay. Nathan, Gaz, etc. That's who you believe it is? Yes. Okay. And in Isaiah 42 10, who's that? The servant? Oh, the servant. Oh. The, the servant of God that's being referred to is the people of Israel. Why did you do that? Actually, that's 53, isn't it? What's Isaiah 42? See? I don't know if I can. That's why I thought this. Yeah. Um, Isaiah 42. No, this, this, is, this is the people of Israel. Why did you do that? Huh? Why did you do that? Because if you look at Isaiah 45, you can see clearly. Okay, let, me, let me read it for the benefit. This is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall teach the true way to the nations. He shall not cry out, shout aloud, or make his voice heard. So you're saying this is a, this is not an individual? Why do you believe that? He shall not even break a bruised reed or snuff out even a dim wick. He shall bring forth the way, the true way. He shall not grow dim or be bruised till he has established the, tr the true way on earth. Right, so you're still maintaining it in Israel, yeah? Yes. Thus said the God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out. Who spread out the... Am I reading backwards here or what? Yeah. Because it, the main thing is the Hebrew, so it goes from right to left. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. So I have to go this way? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth. You who sail the sea and you creatures in it, you coastlands and their inhabitants, let the desert and its towns cry aloud, let the villages where Kedar dwells, let Selah's inhabitants Look shout, call out from the peaks of the mountains, let them do honour to the Lord and tell his glory in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a warrior, like a fighter. He... So who is this? This is all Israel. As in when he's talking about other nations. When he's talking about other nations. That's no, no, where, where he's saying he's going to scream like a woman in labour and he will, um, he will turn the idolaters back in at a defeat and all this. Yeah. This is all Israel. The people of Israel suffer in exile. No, 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 no. You're saying this, this is not speaking out of person. You believe that? I don't mind if you believe that. I'm trying to, I don't understand the justification for it unless it's trying to fit your narrative. Because for me, it seems to be speaking about somebody who's going to come and make the deserts rejoice, make the city of Medina sing with joy. Then he's going to come as a warrior. Where and say Medina? Sela. Where do you think Sela is? Where does he say Sela? What verse is that? 42, from 342 to 10. Who's Kedar? Kedar is one of the sons of Yishmael. Who were they? The Arabs. Yeah. So he's going to make the Arabs rejoice. Where's Kedar? Yeah, it's the second son. Yeah. Yeah, so Israel's going to make the Arabs rejoice. <laughs> So the Israelites are going to make the Ishmaelites rejoice. Really? So uh, in the in in the midrash, um, it says that just before the, the, this is very, this is very interesting. That just before the Messiah comes, um, the Jews are going to want to build the temple on the on, on the Temple Mount. And the Muslims are going to say no, and, they, and they're going to say this is just, I'm just quoting the midrash. The, the midrash okay, that's, Going to um, and the Muslims are going to the Muslims are going to say we'll, we'll 
um, we'll, 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 we'll challenge you okay, to, to what happens in the days of Elijah. And we're going to build uh, an altar and offer up sac sacrifice. And you're going to do the same. And the person who's, uh, and the people who sacrifice goes up to God, will God accept.